Hi again guys and welcome to another speed build in particular on Forza Horizon 3 and this time we're tuning up a vehicle which I was actually extolling the virtues of last week on the channel, the Mercedes 190E. This is a car which, again, as I mentioned in the review for this video, or for this car I should say, has performance in particular with regard to top end speed that goes so much further than what I was expecting it to be. I was expecting maybe 235, 240 at a push, because that tends to be the kind of region that many of the homologation cars fall into. Stuff like the Deltas, the E30 M3s, most of the rally builds tend to be around that kind of speed. This one though goes so far beyond that. Now I'd recommend the V8 engine conversion, then as far as drivetrain, as I would always recommend, all-wheel drive if it is an option. Of course, if you don't want to have that, that's down to you. For aspiration, we've got the twin turbo fitted to it. And then for the rest, you know the drill. Upgrade the power, lower the weight, increase the grip, all that kind of obvious stuff. As a general rule, fit everything to the car with race in the title, except for the front and rear wing, and the roll cage is optional. Now, as far as the benchmark... The acceleration's pretty good, not amazing, but pretty good, but the top speed in particular is great. Even if you compare it to something like the Cadillac CTS-V from earlier this week, that car could do around 244, this does 269, at least according to the benchmark. So much quicker, despite being a less powerful vehicle. It's a pretty impressive car. Not necessarily a sleeper car by traditional standards, but at the same time it kind of is, because it's a lot quicker than you might expect, certainly a lot quicker than I expected. Now for the gearbox, I would recommend a final drive of 2.6, then individual gears, which will be fairly familiar to people who have used my tunes before, 2.9 for first, then 2, 1 1.5, 1 1.18, 0.95, and 0.78. For alignment, you know the drill, neutral camber and toe, unless of course you want to have some, 4 degrees of caster, you could go lower if you want it to be more loose, and of course vice versa if you want the car's handling to be stiffer, the steering in particular. Anti-roll we've got on 35 and 21, springs on 196, 174 and as low as possible as far as ride height, dampers we've got on 15, 14, 7 and 6. Aero you want as low as possible on the back. Now, of course, you could, you could just take the rear wing off completely. That basically solves that issue, but I'll leave that down to you. I've left it on mainly for the visuals. And then for the diff, I've got 100% on acceleration, 0 on decel, and a 70% split in favour of the back end. I find that's a sweet spot for this car, for some others too, but of course you can change that around if you want to. Now this tune is on my storefront, so if you want to check it out for yourself, you can click through using the keywords down below in the video description to find it quickly and easily. But for now, let's take it out on the street, of course, to see if it can hit that number. Now, as I mentioned in the review episode featuring this car last week, 150,000 credits is a lot of cash to spend on a sedan. But on this occasion, I would definitely say that this car is worth it. The top end speed alone makes it one of the quickest sedans in the game. But as you can see from this video, the speed that it gets to that top end speed at, in other words, the acceleration, is monstrously quick. This is one of the relatively few sedans which, in fully tuned form, can genuinely take on and sometimes outrun supercars. That's not something to take lightly. This car is a monster and the handling is great as well. If you don't already own this car, you definitely need to. It is crazy fast. So if you do decide to use this tune, or get it from my storefront of course, either way, I hope you have a lot of fun with it. It can definitely win you plenty of races. And if you enjoyed this tune, there are plenty more to check out on the channel. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.